I own a big fat cat, the fattest for miles around. Wherever there's lots of food, that's where he'll be found. He's really good at eating. It's a talent, I suppose. I'm sure if he keeps at it, he'd win the talent shows. I own a big fat cat. He weighs at least a ton. He couldn't run to save his life. Yes, he's not much fun. His favourite room's the kitchen. I'm sure we all know why. He eats just about everything. So that's why, with a sigh, I'd like to tell you, teacher, I'd like to tell you straight. I might have accidentally dropped my homework in his plate. Good morning, everybody. It's palm time again. And that palm was called My Big Fat Cat by Christian M. Whitewood. But our next one is called The Three Little Pigs by Roald Dahl. But before we get started, if you like and appreciate these poems and stories, click on the like and subscribe button or leave a comment if there's something you want to see. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? <coughs> the animal I really dig, above all others, is the pig. Pigs are noble, pigs are clever. Pigs are courteous, however. Now and then, to break this rule, one meets a pig who is a fool. What, for example, would you say if strolling through the woods one day, right there in front of you you saw a pig who built his house of straw? The wolf who saw it licked his lips and said, that pig has had his chips. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The little pig began to pray, but Woofy blew his house away. He shouted, bacon, pork and ham, oh what a lucky Woof I am. And though he ate the pig quite fast, he carefully kept the tail to last. Woof wandered on, a trifle bloated. Surprise, surprise, for soon he noted. Another little house for pigs, and this one had been built out of twigs. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf said, okay, here we go. He then began to blow and blow. The little pig began to squeal. He cried, oh wolf, you've had one meal. Why can't we talk and make a deal? The wolf replied, not on your nelly. And soon the pig was on his belly. Two little pigs, Wolf cried, but still I'm not quite satisfied. I know how full my tummy's bulging, but oh, how I adore indulging. So creeping quietly as a mouse, the wolf approached another house. A house which also had inside a little piggy trying to hide. You'll not get me, the piggy cried. I'll blow you down, the wolf replied. You'll need, pig said, a lot of puff. And I don't think you've got enough. Wolf huffed and puffed and blew and blew. The house stayed up as good as new. If I can't blow it down, Wolf said, I'll have to blow it up instead. I'll come back in the dead of night and blow it up with dynamite. Pig cried, you brute, I might have known. Then picking up the telephone, he dialed as quickly as he could the number of Red Riding Hood. Hello, she said. Who's speaking who? Oh, hello, Piggy. How do you do? Pig cried, I need your help, Miss Hood. Oh, help me, please. Do you think you could? I'll try, of course, Miss Hood replied. What's on your mind? A wolf, Pig cried. I know you've dealt with wolves before, and now I've got one at my door. My darling Pig, she said, my sweet. That's something really up my street. I've just begun to wash my hair. When it's dry, I'll be right there. A short while later, through the wood, came striding brave Miss Riding Hood. The wolf stood there, his eyes ablaze, and yellowish like mayonnaise. His teeth were sharp, his gums were raw, and spit was dripping from his jaw. Once more the maiden's eyelid flickers, she drew the pistol from her knickers. Once more she hits the vital spot, and kills him with a single shot. Pig peeping through the window, stood and yelled, Well done, Miss Riding Hood. Ah, Piglet, you must never trust young ladies from the upper crust. For now Miss Riding Hood one notes, not only has two wolfskin coats, but when she goes from place to place, 
She has a pigskin traveling case. Oh, and well, guys, what did you think of that? You can let me know in the comments if you like. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, my name is Cheesy Cornelius. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.